view your own VODs. But right now, we're going to get right. up into this matchup with Sonic and uh, who's he playing right today? Rosalina? Yep. Yep, it is going to be the Rosalina. Now, I think one thing about this matchup is going to be sending that Lumina out there to do the dirty work, and how <laughs> Sonic Fiend is going to be able to play around that. That's literally the very first part of that game, uh, was just him dodging, going right over the Luma, and managing to find an opening. I wonder if we're maybe going to see some readjustments from the Buzz. I will, in general, the Buzz is one of the most cerebral players out mm -hmm. there, and if it, if you manage to see the thought process going on in this man's head, it is such a pleasure to deconstruct. Agreed. And unfortunately, because the Buzz plays such obscure characters, I don't know much about Rosalina. However, I do know that using that Luma will be able to. Well, she keeps going out, but. When he comes back, he may be able to use that to his advantage and we have Sonic Fiend, maybe because it happened earlier where he was attacking Luma instead of the Buzz, and the Buzz used it to his advantage to um to come in with his own combos. So using Luma is gonna be very imperative for this matchup and really psyching out his opponent and using that extra range as well. Yeah, like look at the way that the Buzz is managing to pressure Sonic Fiend from across, or at least from halfway across the stage. Literally almost half almost across the entire stage. Just being extremely careful not to engage on terms he is not 100% okay with. Good job from Sonic Fiend, though, cleaning off the Luma. Mm -hmm. that when, whenever the Buzz does send the Luma out, that is one of the risks that if Sonic Fiend is able to, you know, get in between them, he might be able to finish the Luma off. Yep. But the thing is, the Buzz is honestly, without Luma, playing just a beautiful defensive game. Mm -hmm. Just really patient shielding, just not throwing out moves in a way that can actually get him punished. So... Even if you do kill Luma, which, you know, Sonic Fiend is managing to do once more, uh, what is, is he going to actually be able to do anything off of it? The buzz is at 88. This is could be kill percent for him if he manages to find an opening. Can he, though? And again, the buzz is just waiting that patient game between defensive. Waiting those, like, what, 15 seconds for Luma to come back? And then you're back to how the buzz he plays. I mean, someone much more offensive and aggressive with his, with his gameplay. I'm honestly, oh. I am loving the way that the buzz is just like, he doesn't do it when he's not comfortable. Mm -hmm. He's just engineering for himself a little mobile home that he takes with him. Thank and you, it has top-notch security. <laughs> hey. But right now, oh my god, the buzz is right here. Again, having Luma to, oh. for his advantage. Oh my god. I, okay, so the <laughs> buzz definitely heavily in the lead right now. However, Sonic Fiend is not dropping. And that's kind of the risk of this, you know, play style that the buzz has. It's very mm -hmm. safe. But when he has to get kills, what's going to happen? Like right now. Oh my god, he's juking him. Okay. Checking him out with that with the constant <laughs> springing, but doesn't really do anything much with it. Now here comes Luma again. Now the buzz is not on the offensive, making sure Luma's Oh no, it's not anything between both Luma and Rosalina. It's such a dangerous game to play. But I'm loving the awareness from Sonic mm -hmm. Fiend. He's at 176. He is so aware of what... Oh, but there he goes! Oh, no. I think he, he finally committed to that spin dash, and the Buzz was just ready for him. He was actually facing the other way, just so that he would be able to actually hit him with the up smash. So smart. Very great play by Sonic Fiend right now, but again, look at the Buzz. At one, at one stock lead, Sonic Fiend at 33%. And just doesn't seem he's able to really get in and use any of those Sonic like, smash attacks or those combo stars he's used to doing with other opponents so, so far. And I really just have to bring everyone's attention to the timer. We've already had three and a half minutes pass, and if you are Sonic Fiend, you now have to worry about getting this kill while also not taking too much damage. Mm -hmm. The Buzz will absolutely time him out. That's really what it feels like the Buzz is aiming to do right now. So the fact that he finally manages to get the stock right there is massive. 55% deficit, though. This is not going to be easy for him. It's probably going to end up coming down to another one of those. Both of them are deep in the red, and who get oh, the kill wow. first? Trying to get that punish off that shield, but however, it's not going to be there uh, uh, it's close enough to be able to do that. And right now, the Buzz is being a little bit more, was very aggressive in that one stock, gaining a clean 81%, 88% on Sonic Fiend when he came back from the stage. Oh, Sonic Fiend avoiding that Luma came right straight in for Liquid the Buzz. But not really aiming to combo into anything. I also, and I love that. that. That Luma right there, it was such a juicy target that he, it, he was, the Buzz was just tempting. He was like, mm -hmm. come on, forward smash it. But the way he was positioned, he absolutely would have punished him for doing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sonic Fiend did not bite. Really great awareness oh, from him. Wow. But does it matter? This is... Oh. And look at it was only at 16% second stock or two stock and Sonic Fiend at one stock. And has to be really careful again with this Luma because he's that's bait for him. 
that's liquid, liquid Buzz literally saying, come at me. Literally touch it and I'm going to punish you for it. It's... We cannot forget the fact that the Buzz is also, like, he's one of the smartest players out there. Mm -hmm. and his adaptation is absolutely incredible. We are seeing that right here, right now. It felt like, you know, it was always an uphill battle for Sonic Fiend, but earlier on, felt like he had some things going for him. It's not looking like that anymore. The Buzz is just absolutely in control. Wait, am oh. I gonna get proven wrong? Okay. No, not quite, but that's, that, 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 that was the one time that Buzz started actually attacking while Luna was not revived yet. And it bit him, like, there was a complete consequence of that. And I think he might have learned from that, maybe not be so aggressive when Luna isn't present to defend him and his actions. Definitely. Goodbye, oh. Luma. <laughs> this, is, this is where things actually... Oh. This is why that... Oh my god, he's going for it every time, and the Buzz is just aware of that. Uh, he's just holding a shield. He's just holding shield because he knows, I, I just need to not die. We have a minute left on the clock. The Buzz, like, if... If Sonic Fiends gives him, like, the kill, you know, DeBuzz will take it. But other than that, it looks like DeBuzz is more than content just waiting out these next 55 seconds with zero commitment. You know? Right there. Oh, yeah, you just that gave him that up smash, but... Or up smash? Yeah. That was an up smash right there. Oh, I thought we were going to see a little handoff, but... Oh, between Lumi... Lumi? <laughs> Oof. Oh, we're going to be very careful here. It's like 113%. Wow. Oh, he's trapped in shield, which means he lost like three seconds on the clock. At this point, it's... Is the buzz just running the clock, yeah. making sure he has a stock lead and sudden death. If, if this comes to a sudden death situation, if Sonic Fiend is able to get that stock uh, to one-to-one -one before well, the next the 15 that, seconds. Well, the thing is that like he, he needs to kill him and then immediately get a eight-second zero to death. Oh, this is just not looking good at all. Oh, yeah, my God. this is five seconds left. The buzz could literally kill himself. Yeah, at this point, the buzz just tumbling down yep. and not able to do anything. The timeout wow. successfully achieved from the buzz. He had a game plan. He adapted in the middle of just enough to make sure that he was staying ahead of Sonic Fiend. And then once he had really set that difference between them, he just sat on it. He sat on it and took it all the way yep, to a victory. Completely ran the clock, making sure he was able to secure this win. And even though it had Sonic Fiend gotten that stock kill at that second stock at let's say 30 seconds in he had 30 seconds to get a zero death against the buzzes rosalina and, Lu and luma okay yeah. rosalina and luma okay this is a 2v1 <laughs> not only that but when you get to that point and your opponent knows that like you need to zero to death them in order to win they can just play to the fact that they know you have to zero to death them absolutely all right we got the music counter pick it looks like uh, the music that changes everything, of course. No, no, of course, because it's of much course. more action packed. Yes. The buzz is going to be like bouncing in the seat. He's like, now I have to approach. <laughs> <laughs> the music's so exciting. I can't. Oh, not I'm surprised you're going FD this time. Hmm. Um, it, I'm not that surprised. This is definitely a stage that Sonic loves. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and I feel like the buzz is like I am confident enough in the neutral, and not having any platforms actually makes it even harder for Sonic Team to approach. So it's like, if the buzz is in the lead, this stage is absolutely amazing for him. Admittedly, if Sonic Fiend somehow manages to take a lead, then this, you know, like a, it'll make a bad situation worse. Uh-oh. Gain these uh, up air at ledge, uh, ledge guarding. Oh. What? what? A down air! Oh, man. And now the, the FD is probably going to come back to bite Sonic yeah. Fiend. I, don't, I think it was the right call taking him here. But we're now going to see what DeBuzz is like on a flat stage when he knows you have to approach. It's going to be absolute murder. 40% already. No Luma required. Oh, That's a devastating um, And burst. Luma body blocked him. <laughs> Luma, you're, you're doing too much. Oh, yeah. Sonic Fiend, he's just, like, he's just trying to hold forward right now. He really is stuck on the ledge and was not able to get back and for a while. And he's back again on the other side of the stage. Just cannot get center control of the, of the platform right at the moment. And probably the buzz will not let him either. Honestly, I just really need to address the Luma control. Please. Like, look at this from the buzz. He's like, Luma's just walking around. And as soon as Luma puts himself in the position, the buzz just, it's like he's controlling Luma to occupy this space to make it almost impossible for Sonic Fiend to actually do anything. What was oh that DI? Goodness. I don't know if it would have mattered, but... I don't think it would have. It might have. I mean, I don't think it would have mattered in the grand scheme of things, because this is three stops to one. The buzz timed him out last time. If he really starts to feel threatened, he will just stop. 
he will simply stop and avoid all your attacks. Yeah. Easy. For five whole minutes. And you're gonna have to approach and make an effort, and he will not let you. Yeah, and you know, this is actually kind of the effect of getting timed out in game one. You know, mm -hmm. when, when you get timed out in game one, you still kind of have, it's hard to shake that, the panic that you felt at the very end of the last game. Yeah, because the announcer is saying five, four. This is not, does not help at all. It makes you more anxious. And Sonic Phoenix, I know he's round at the moment. Doesn't even know what to do against Le Le Buzz's L Rosalina and Luma combo. Getting juggled. Yeah, that the, the Rosalina and Luma still has some of the best juggles in, the, like, in this game. Okay, finally a little bit of an opening, but then look at that Sonic Fiend really just hoping that DeBuzz was going to air dodge, but DeBuzz knows how he would die in that situation. He's, he has no fear. He's not Agreed. being scared into making a mistake right now. He's in too much control to let that happen. You can see how relaxed DeBuzz is. He's so relaxed, he's leaning back in his chair. <laughs> he was at least. He's he has a relaxed. pensive yet calm look upon his face. And Sonic Fiend is just begging for an opening. I mean, he's literally Isn't called himself it? Calm Star tonight. Which, is that an anime reference, or is he just calling himself a Calm Star? Is it because of Luma? Okay. Okay. And then the star is Luma. I mean, okay, yeah. All right. That's so, kind of cute. <laughs> if, that, if that's the reason. I mean, it, it's working. He has been cool as a cucumber. As finally, oh, Sonic finally. Fiend takes that first stock. But we've had half of the entire timer go down, and Sonic Fiend is going to have to work some just a real dark magic if he wants to be able to take this set from the buzzer. Oh, he can no. just keep himself alive right now. Oh, no, Luma, where are you? Uh, Luma's coming. I know she's coming. I was worried she was going, going straight to Sonic Fiend. Oh, but Luma gained the kill. Good for you, Luma. But God, what? <laughs> Everyone call clap for Luma. A little clap for Luma, please. Luma got the, <laughs> the kill. Yeah! Yay, Luma! But all seriousness, what a devastating approach. From, uh, from the buzz, just mis using Luma to his advantage whenever he has her, and when he doesn't have her, just making sure, oh, look at her, but making yeah. sure that he plays a more defensive game until Luma responds. Not only that, I really, the uh, buzz's defensive game still had so much intentionality mm -hmm. to it. There is so much you can deconstruct, and this wasn't, like, game one was not just like a timeout where they did nothing. So much was happening constantly, and DeBuzz was really changing his play, whether he had Luma around, dictated things, the stage positioning, how much fear he felt in his opponent's heart. All of these were factors that totally changed the way he approached the matchup, and that's just one of the reasons why he is one of the best players in the world, mm -hmm. full stop. Full stop. God, what a devastating match. That was a really great game, though. Both games are really entertaining. And it didn't even feel like seven minutes went by in the first game. Oh, no. It, it was so... It was action-packed. It was so much happening at once. Like, no one was... Like, it was... It was... Appro like, they were both approaching, but also they weren't. It was so entertaining to watch, and both players showing why... Why they're really good. The Buzz especially showing why he's literally yeah. one of the best.